Okay. Uh, we're going to continue on the concept car project, and what I'm going to have you guys do the work on today is creating a wheel and tire. We, we sort of already did this with the other car project, but we're going to do it a little different this time. And um, so I'm just going to create a new document and call it concept car wheel. And, and then my name always helps. Okay. This little camera? The, uh, auto level. But I'm making a video tutorial. So oh, sorry. It's okay. All right. So, what you're going to do now is sketch. Um, we'll just go ahead and. Uh, Pick the front plane to do our sketch, and then I'm going to right click and do normal to sketch right there. Okay. And uh, uh, for this exercise, since it's mostly just a mirror image, I'm going to put a vertical line in there and uh, I'm going to use that to mirror the plane. And I'm going to actually put a straight edge on here for the top of the tire. And then what I'm going to do is use the Three-point arc tool. How about that? Three-point arc tool. We're gonna do this. We're gonna kind of come down here, and then we could make it uh, curve like that. There you go. Uh, that's the edge of the tire part. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my wheel uh, up in. And I'm going to actually stop it right there as well. Something like that. And yours can be different, that's fine. And um, so now I'm going to uh, mirror this over. So I pick. It says, as soon as you hit the mirror tool, it says select the mirror line, I click that. And then what to mirror, I click that, 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 that. And now I'm just going to close this off at the bottom. And you'll see it shade that whole section right there. And I'm going I'm to right click, or hold, and move this around. And we'll use the rotate tool. So we're going to rotate this face and this face, and then the revolve axis will be that. Okay. And I could, I could uh, sketch on this face really quickly. I'll give you an example. Here, and do a similar thing that we did last time we created the wheel tower. And then I can come in here. Actually, this one I'm going to do more traditional. Um, a circle like that, and then I can do a circular pattern of those. So I'll select it, and there it is, and then I can have more of those um, by taking this little multiplier off. So ten of them. There we go. And then I can pick out each one of those. Now the only thing I have left here is I have a 3D printable wheel and tire for my concept part. So if I want to make a hub, a place to mount the, uh, the I think we're going to use the uh, quarter inch dowel rods as the axles for our vehicles. So I'm just going to pick on that face right there, and the inside face, I call, I'm calling it the inside face. And I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to put a circle right here. And I'm going to dimension that circle by a quarter of an inch. So, uh, now that makes me think that actually I've, I've made this wheel entire much too big and I need to shrink it down. So what I'm gonna do is pick on it right there on the tree and then I'm gonna scale it down. 
So I'm going to grab the, right here, you'll see it's a transform option. And one of the things you can do under a transform is scale. So we can change the scale factor. I'm going to cut this thing in half to 0.5. Let me try that again. I don't know. I may have done that too fast. So here, transform, scale. And what am I going to scale? Yep, that part. Oh, I got to pick the center point of the scale. That's what I missed. Uh, so I pick that point in the middle, scale, again, 0.5. There it is. That looks much better. So now I pick on that quarter inch sketch and then I'm going to extrude it and I'm going to remove. There you go. And, and I could 3D print four of these and we're off and running. Okay. Happy designing. Sayonara. Signing off. And how do I stop this? Mm -hmm. um, there it is.